Back more local news now. A unique chance for you to see some of the best spots in Milwaukee. This weekend, you're going to be able to go behind the scenes of some iconic buildings. Jesse Ritka has places that you do not want to miss. Doors Open Milwaukee is all about giving you access to places that are normally off limits. But if you head out this weekend, there are a few must-sees. We've sprawled out a little this year for Doors Open. Spreading out so much that you may not have time to open all the doors in Milwaukee this weekend. So there's 100, 134 buildings. There's no way you'll ever be able to get to all of them. But um, you get to a lot. The best part? It's free. You can explore iconic buildings like the Art Museum, check out a meteorologist's favorite, the Gaslight Building, and visit Northwest Mutual's atrium. The Milwaukee Public Museum is also showing two free planetarium shows daily. And here at the BMO Harris Bradley Center, kids can even climb up to sit on the Zamboni. A kid favorite, and then we're also bringing down the scoreboard and getting people to take photos, and we'll put their phone on the scoreboard so they, can, they know they're going to be on the Jumbotron. But don't leave the Bradley Center so fast. You get behind the scenes access to the Bucks locker room and other closed doors. Another must see and fan favorite for Doors Open Milwaukee is the U.S. Bank Observation Deck. You have to come into a special freight elevator to get access to the 41st floor. U.S. Bank, you're never going to be able to go up to the observation deck. That's almost a once in a year thing for Doors Open Milwaukee. But the view? maybe just worth the wait. Opening up doors that are often closed to us here in Milwaukee to give us a nice different view of our city. At the top of the U.S. Bank building, Jesse Ritka, today's TMJ4. Ah, so much yeah. to enjoy and to check out all of the wonderful places you can see this weekend. All you have to do is go to TMJ4.com and click on links. Hey,